Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another review. Um, lately, I think places haven't been coming out with new stuff and I haven't been able to get my hands on a few new things that I've been wanting to review, so I kind of got a little bit desperate looking for something new to try today. Uh, in fact, my, my last recorder video is going out today and I've been averaging two videos a week, so I wanted to keep that going. So I did a little research. There's a couple new things out there that I haven't tried yet. They've been out for a little bit, so these aren't brand new things. But they were interesting enough for me to actually want to try. And today, I'm going to some place that I haven't been in a long time. That's Domino's Pizza. Domino's has never been like my favorite. I don't hate Domino's necessarily. Um, it's just in Chicago, you know. Why get any other type of pizza than like non-chains? And Domino's really hasn't come out with like really new stuff in a long time either. So that's another reason. Pizza Hut's tried to make some new things. They've mostly all failed. Um, Papa John's has their own issues, of course. Ah, some Diet Coke to wash everything down with. Um, but I saw they have two new pizzas. They have a cheeseburger pizza and they have a chicken taco pizza. I really wanted to see like if you can get like, because they have a deal on specialty pizzas right now, large for eleven ninety nine, and you can get as many for that price as you want. If it's just the those two new ones anyway. And I was trying to see if I can get like uh, the make a half and half one. But there was really no way to, to, to do that, and uh, so decided to just choose one because I'm not going to eat two pizzas or have a cold pizza sitting around. So I got the cheeseburger pizza that sounded a little bit more interesting. It has a ketchup and mustard sauce base. It has American cheese and cheddar cheese. I think maybe provolone cheese. It's got beef. It's got onions and tomato. And it smells like a, a a big wet cheeseburger is sitting inside this box. I have not looked at it. I've not opened it up yet. So this is going to be my first reaction to even seeing it. Here we go. As you can see, there's onions and tomato and beef and cheese. Uh, I think if they chopped up some fresh pickle and put this on top uh, after it came out of the oven, that would have been even more perfect um smells good looks pretty good let's go ahead and give it a taste it's really got that ketchup and mustard smell to it here we go I don't know if I like it or not. I don't hate it. Well, I only took one bite because you know the rules. The Domino's Cheeseburger Pizza, before I opened it, I mentioned, if you heard it, that it smells like there's a big wet cheeseburger inside of here. And that's actually kind of what it tastes and feels like, is a big wet cheeseburger. The onions they put on here... It looks like they put raw onions on the pizza, and the only cook the onions get is they're traveling through 
the pizza oven. And really that makes a lot of like onion sweats come out. So there's a lot of like pooled wateriness in here, as well as these tomatoes. I'm pretty sure these were raw tomatoes they put on top. And their only cooking was going through the oven. Now, when it comes to onions, I either like my onions like crispy and raw, or at the very least, sweated and caramelized down to take out, you know, all of the crunchiness to it. So it's like a grilled onion almost. These are somewhere in the middle. They're partially cooked, so like they've sweated some out, but they still have a crunch to it. And it kind of gives like this wet, slimy crunch to it, at least for me, that I don't really like in, uh, in my onions when I put onions on anything. Typically, if I put onions on a pizza, I'll really like get them a little bit of golden brown on them before I even put it on there. Uh, the tomatoes, you know, one way or the other, they're all right. I would have preferred, like, like I said, for the pickles, like, Put some fresh tomatoes on at the end. And I think really you could have done that with everything. You could have put the tomato and the onion. It's more of a fresh topping on the outside. The ketchup mustard sauce is strange. That's That was the thing that I was really questioning is if I liked it or not. It, uh, I don't know. It has a weird smell to it. Especially when you cook it like this. Like when you put ketchup and mustard on a burger, again, you put on it fresh, you put on it cold, it's getting a little heat transfer from putting a, a hot patty on top of it, maybe the bun's a little bit hot, but you're not putting the ketchup and mustard through an oven. And I think it changes it a little bit. It makes the aromas more volatile. It comes out and you can smell it more. It's just kind of weird. I don't think, I necessarily think it's bad. It's just kind of weird. I know there are a, there's a pizza place somewhere in New York. I don't remember the name of it, but I saw a YouTube video about it where they actually do put mustard in their pizza sauce. Um, it's on a it's on a Thrillist video. I believe it's Thrillist um, on their show called uh, it's a, it's like pizza dough, and it's supposed to be like is it pizza though, and like they're they taste weirder pizzas and. A really strict pizza guy says if it's pizza or not. And he liked it. And I gotta say, like, the mustardiness in here, the mustard ketchup sauce doesn't taste bad. It just gives it a weird smell. Overall, I would eat this. I wouldn't order it again, necessarily. Um, but I do think there's things that they can improve on. I think more fresh toppings is one of them. Uh, you don't have to put everything in it and throw it through the oven and then hand it out to people. I've seen pizza places do it with burger pizzas before. You get some fresh onion and tomato. You can put, even put like a little bit of lettuce on top. If you're worried about it wilting, maybe give them lettuce on the side and let them put that on as they eat it. But pickles definitely would make this better. And of course you can make it a bacon cheeseburger by adding a little bacon to it. You can make a barbecue cheeseburger by adding a little barbecue sauce to it. But uh, pickles definitely, and make the ingredients more fresh on top than cooking them down. Especially those onions. Personally for me, I don't like these type of cooked onions where they're just half cooked and sweaty and wet. Not, not good to me. You might like it. I'm just giving you what my opinion is, what I see in front of me. Overall, I'm going to give the Domino's Cheeseburger Pizza... That specialty pizza that's currently $11.99 for a large, if you order online, I'm going to give it 7.1 out of 10. It's not bad. It's a little weird. And I'm still not sure if I kind of like it or if I kind of don't like it. But it's in that weird zone. Anyway, I hope you liked this video for the Domino's cheeseburger pizza. Anyway, please like, subscribe to the channel. We're very, very close to the thousandth subscriber. It might be you. We'll see you next time on the next video. Bye.